got offensive lineman Wyatt Milam. Questions for Wyatt, Greg? So Wyatt, after two losses, you weren't there, I know, for some of it, but uh, how important was just getting this win for the offensive line to sort of take charge and dominate? Oh, it, it was a very important um, because um, how many injuries we had over the past few weeks. Um, we didn't play well as a team against Houston. We knew that. Um, we just didn't pull it through against Oklahoma State, so we wanted to come out and uh, play physical today because their front was very physical, their D-line, their linebackers, so this win was very important for our team today. So at this point, is that a kind of a positive? I mean, I know injuries are but so many guys have played so many different spots. You're comfortable no matter what the mix is. Yeah, that, that just shows that anyone on our line can step up and play, so that just shows the depth that we have. So, I, yeah, I'd say it's a positive. How much energy does, you know, as an offense, how much energy does seeing the defense get the takeaways that a they lot. got? How, a like, what, what impact did that have on the game? Was the game was it is momentum, defense. really. This momentum is just um, – when we see them make plays, it just changes really just how we feel. Like it's the more momentum towards. We know when they when they get the ball, like when they take a turnover, we need to go down and score. So, how important was it? Because obviously the ground game has been working this year, but to get a guy like Jaheim, CJ having the best game in weeks, how important was all of that for the offensive line as well? It, this um, very important. Just be able to run the ball, and to see them guys run, it's, it's amazing. They can run the ball very well. I know you guys always think you can run it, but is there a point in the game when you realize you control things up front and you can pretty much do what you want? Um, like in today's game? Yeah. Um, it was sometime after that, um, one of those, um, the latest interceptions. Mm -hmm. That's when we felt like we took, um, took control of the game, and that, that's when we just felt like that's when we had really control. Those running backs all have different skill sets. Like, for instance, talk about when you're blocking a stretch play for CJ, might bang it or bend it back versus Jaheim who will bounce it. Yeah, um, CJ, he's more of a power back. So you just try to just open the hole for him. Yeah. But Jaheim, you really, you really don't know. Yeah. He might cut it, he might go outside. So you, you really yeah. don't know. You just block. What well, we said, we just block him on the angle. Yeah. So. What does, it, what does it mean for you guys to, to have a quarterback like Garrett who's going to take some hits? You know, he's rushing and rushing. Oh, he's a great quarterback. <laughs> oh, I love Garrett. Um, I love him as my quarterback. Um, He's tough. That um, that last hit he took, that was a big hit. Big hit. So, just having him as a quarterback, as a, a leader, he really just gets us going. He's always, you never see him down. That's one of the great things about him. Um, he's always just pushing us, encouraging us. So, having him as a quarterback is great. Neil talked about the fourth down play on the first drive in your own end. Does that surprise you guys? He said he told you he was going to push the pedal a little bit. Did it surprise you? What's the thought? No, but in, that situ in that situation, we want to go for it mm -hmm. because we have confidence in um, the offensive line. We know we have to get it. There ain't no other. other way. We have confidence. We mm -hmm. know we're going to get it. No, so. you get it. You popped it for like 20. Yeah, that was, that was a good play, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> off the left side? Yep, I think so. If I remember correctly, it was off the left side. You guys have only allowed three sacks in five league games. Again, today, another big challenge. They have some really talented edge yeah. guys. Talk about what you're going to make that work. So this is our, basically our standard. We don't want – our quarterback to get hit. So each week we just try our best to protect our quarterback. It's just really the relationship that we have is just the experience up front. So that's really. When Coach Brown came here, he said a team truly really comes together when it's player led, when it's player driven. The coaches can start, they can build, and whatever, but it's when the players take control and drive things that it's yeah. really good. How far are you down that path as a group? And I say I say we're pretty um, player led. You know, there's there's leaders on the defensive side of the ball. That we, we even push the defense too, offensive side. Like we just push um, each other. We just try to make each other better every day, practice. Um, this every like we just push each other. It don't matter if it's on the offensive side of the ball, defense side of the ball. We have leaders on both sides, so we just try to push each other as a team. He said they're working with you to be a little more vocal. Is that? Yeah, I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying to be a little more vocal. I'm trying to. How's your eye? Oh, it's good now. You it's, can see no double vision blur. Oh, I, I, I see perfectly now. <laughs> <laughs> so, but okay, so you're healthy, but then Doug goes down today. Uh, tough when you see him not there. What, what's it like? Yeah, it, it's tough when you see any of your teammates get hurt. Mm -hmm. But um, it's really just the next man up because you know Malone stepped in and he did a really good job today. Um, so yeah, but seeing Doug go down that 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 hurts. Mm -hmm. But you know, we just we got death at the O line. 
so we can just put Malone in there or Quay can play right tackle. So and we, we got people there. Tomas back beside you, how much does that combination help that you guys are comfortable with? Yeah, we're just – like we're roommates together. Like we live together. So mm -hmm. we just have a bunch of um, – like our bond is strong. Like we work good together. We communicate well with each other. So having him back out there is very important. The only linemen aren't married. I mean, you got to, right? I mean, yeah. everybody else has got wives to, to go yeah. to. I think me and Tomas are the only ones now. <laughs> yeah, amongst the starting group. Yeah, amongst the starting group, me and Tomas. <laughs> but. Well, Neil mentioned the week being a, a better week of practice in comparison to the last couple of weeks. Did you feel that as well? What was it again? The week being a better week of practice. You guys yeah, this uh, attention and focus, um, just working on our details, um, especially the small things, because, you know, that thing, the small things can get you beat. So we just really just focused on our details and attention throughout the week. All right, thank you very much. Thank you.